This is Mark Caradimos from MathGuide.com and I'm going to talk to you today about how to use the law of sines to find the side of a triangle. Now uh, we use the law of sines uh, on triangles that do not have right angles. If we had a right angle we would just use uh, typical sine, cosine, and tangent, you know the Soka Toa uh, that people are most familiar with when it comes to right triangles. We'd even be able to use uh, the Pythagorean theorem when it came to knowing two sides to find the third side. But since we don't have a right angle, the only tool we have at our dis disposal at this particular uh, juncture for this problem is to use the law of sines. And, I, and I'm going to show you how to use the law of sines um, for this problem. All right, so uh, first of all, what does the law of sines look like? So I'm going to paste the law of sines right up in the corner there. And there you have it. So the law of sines um, is basically a bunch of fractions and um, we basically have to figure out which of these fractions to use in the situation we're given. All right, so um, you'll notice that the law of sines does have uh, letters A, B, and C and you'll notice for this problem we don't have any A, B, and C. So what I'm going to do is label the triangle and you can label it arbitrarily. So uh, in other words, I'm going to call this uh, angle A, I'm going to call this angle B, and this is going to be angle C. Uh, another little detail about this formula is that um, you have to associate an angle and its opposite side together. So if this is angle B, then opposite it is going to be side B. All right, likewise, if this is angle C, then opposite it is going to be side little c. And let's see, this is angle A, opposite it is little a. Okay, so what are we going to calculate? Well, um, we are going to calculate little c, the length of this, and I'm going to show you why I chose little c. All right, well, first of all, um, you'll notice that I do not have any information about angle A, nor about side A. I know nothing about it, so therefore, um, when it comes to using this formula, I am not going to use anything associated with angle A. So I'm not going to use this fraction. So it limits me to just these two fractions, and I'm going to use them to set up a proportion. Okay, so uh, let's see, sine of B, well, okay, I'm going to set that up, I'm going to put sine of big B, well that's 34 degrees, and I'm going to put this over little b, so little b is 1200 yards, uh, okay, and then I'm going to put uh, sine of big C, that's 70 degrees, and uh, put the little degree symbols there, and of course little c I don't know, so I knew that I could find the little side C, which is opposite angle C, um, because they do go together. Uh, I do have to realize that the angle and its side opposite go together, so I realized that I was missing one side, and here I was missing no, no sides. I had an angle and its side opposite, so I knew that when I threw those three values into this relationship, I'd be missing one value, and I could use some algebra uh, to solve that. All right, so how do you uh, solve a proportion? You always cross multi multiply. So I'm basically going to multiply those together and then I'm going to multiply those together. Okay, so I'm going to erase that. I just don't want it to blend in there. So uh, let's multiply. Well, I'm going to take 1200 times the sine of 70. So 1200 sine of 70. Uh, let's see, I'm going to multiply these guys together. That's going to be C sine 34. And those two values have to be equal to each other. All right, so how do I solve for C? Well, of course, I'm going to divide both sides by the sine of 34 to get C alone. So I'm going to take this 1200 sine of 70 degrees, and I'm going to divide it by the sine of 34. Okay, 
So I'm going to punch that into a calculator. And once I punch that into a calculator, I get I get 2016.5. 2016.5. Sixteen point five, approximately, and everything. Of course, though these distances are in yards. Okay, so I'm going to put that value right there. Twenty sixteen point five. All right. So I've got one step, one series of problems done, and let's see. The only thing I'm missing with this, uh, you know, triangle is I'm missing an angle. Now that is the easy part. Uh, to find the missing angle because if you know anything about geometry we know that all the angles uh, add up to 180 degrees so angle A the measure of angle A plus 34 plus 70 has got to equal 180 okay so I'm going to solve this and let's see I'm going to get 76 all right, which I'm going to put that also uh, in there, 76. All right, and another thing that should be uh, known uh, is that there is the triangle inequality. And uh, what that means is if you find the smallest angle, and here you'll see that 34 degrees is the smallest angle, I do know that this angle is opposite this side, this 1200. Okay, so I do know that those go together. So I know the small angle is matches up with the small side. Okay, I also know that the large angle, okay, here's the large angle, this large angle is going to match up with the large side. So I know that side A should be the largest side of the triangle. And here we have the medium angle and that should be the medium side okay so I know that this angle or I'm sorry this side right here should be the middle most so this is the smallest this is the middle and this a has got to even be the largest side so I know that a is got to even be larger than the 2016.5 okay and I'm going to set that up with the law of signs I'm just going to clear all this out all right, so during our last step here, if we want to solve for side A, I obviously have to use this fraction that I had crossed out earlier. So I am, because I have to solve for little a. So I'm going to put sine of 76, that's angle A, all over little a, because they go together. And let's see, that's going to be equal to sine of, let's see, now which of these two fractions am I going to use? It really doesn't matter. I'm not going to use C because I've got a decimal. So instead I'm going to use B because the numbers just look easier to use. So I'm going to put 34 degrees over its opposite side, 1200. And there you go. So I'm going to solve this by cross multiplying. So I'm going to multiply A times the sine of 34. And I'm going to multiply these. I'm going to multiply 1,200 times the sine of 76. Okay, so I got that. Now what I'm going to do is solve for A. How do I solve for A? I'm going to take this 1,200 sine of 76, and I'm going to divide it by the sine of 34. I'm going to punch all this into a calculator and it's going to give me an approximate answer. And I get 2082.2. And of course that's in yards also. So I get 2082.2 yards. And we did predict that this would be the largest side and it's coming to fruition that it is the largest side and we knew that was going to be the case anyway because it was opposite the largest angle. Okay, so that's how this works and we just used the law of sines twice along with the triangle sum of interior angles is 180. And there you go, we've solved this triangle, we have all the sides and angles.
Okay, make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out all our other interactive quizzes, our instructional videos, and lessons. Take care.